hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study and in this video we are going to deploy one more python application but in this particular case it's our own application which we are going to deploy and we are going to create one separate environment and we are going to deploy this python flask based application so for that we require some application.py file which is going to contain all those uh, flask related code we are going to write a very simple hello world kind of stuff a requirement.txt file which contains all those python module dependency that what are the modules are required to make your flask application run and we have a .eb extension folder which is going to contain this app.config file so let me uh, just go to my cloud console and i'll just navigate to elastic benchstock okay now we have already created an application so i'll just go to my first app within that we don't have environment because earlier we created uh, i mean environment and we just simply destroyed it so i'm just going to create a new environment let's say uh, in this particular case also we want to run a website or a web application so first option will be much more suitable for us rather than the second one application name it's a by default being selected environment name let's say one environment i want to create it domain name so uh, how you want to access your application let's say i'll just go ahead with flask tutorial and let me check the availability because it may happen that it may not be available because it has to be globally unique within a region if someone has already taken this particular name you just cannot use it uh, next thing is platform so definitely we want to deploy a python based application let's say it's just going to run on the latest 3.11 version and instead of simple or a sample application which earlier we deployed now we are going to upload uh, our code so you can uh, point out your local code in a two different ways either through local file or through public s3 url let's just go ahead with the local file then i'll show you with the s3 url also and with what version let's say this is the version 1.0 okay so let's just have a look at the code itself then we'll try to upload those code because in this one uh, we are not going to use this uh, sample application instead of that our own code we are going to use it okay so let me just go for upload code and i'll show you about the code okay so you can see the code is very simple if you just have a look at the application.py file it just contains two routes i have created one is like a index uh, which just going to return your flask app works version 1.0 a very simple one and another routes will be hello it just going to return hello world apart from that nothing it is uh, going to start your python flask based web application on 5000 port internally okay so that is the one thing another one will be uh, your uh, requirement.txt file all the python module dependency to make your flask application work okay now apart from that uh, we have a uh, one folder being created that is .eb extension now within that uh, we have a uh, app.config file so this file contains the information related to this uh, mode change for one of the file inside this wsgi application group okay so this wsgi is uh, helpful for making your python program to work as a web application okay so we have everything ready now the next thing is uh, we are just going to bundle this uh, all the file and i'm just going to zip it to let's say compress to zip folder if you are on a other operating system then also similar process you can follow along let's say flask tutorial version 1.0 okay so next thing is we are just simply going to uh, locate this particular file from my local machine or you can upload from s3 url also okay so let me choose the file and we are going to go ahead with flask okay i written flask not a flask okay flask tutorial 1.0 and you can have a look at the flask tutorial version 1.0 dot zip file being attached now we'll just go ahead with a single instance let me press next now remaining all option almost uh, we'll just keep it uh, as it is uh, with our uh, ec2 instance profile we'll just go ahead with a binge talk ec2 
I'll just go ahead with my key pair, although we are not going to use for now. Next, in our existing role for Elastic Beanstalk. Okay, I'm not going to touch upon any of the things for now here. Okay, let me just press next. Okay, all the things I'll just going to keep it as it is or let me quickly go to skip to review where you can review all the option which you have configured uh, while creation of this resource. Okay, no other change. I'll just go ahead and submit it. Now here you will be able to see that uh, now we have deployed our application which is our own application, not a sample application which we can serve directly from here. So definitely we don't have anything for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause my video and I'll get back to you once our environment will be ready and healthy state. Meanwhile, you can always observe all the events directly from here that what is happening. So see four events uh, being done and so far it looks like there is no issue, no error. So I'll get back to you once the environment will be ready. We'll test it and afterwards uh, we'll just have a small changes to our application and we'll try to redeploy as a another application or I would say another version of the same application inside the same environment. So after some two minutes again I recheck you can see our environment creation started at uh, something like uh, 25 fifth minute and uh, at 27 I just saw the logs like an instance deployment completed successfully uh, still health is pending but uh, we can definitely test upon it and I guess yeah uh, immediately we got health is okay that means everything has been successfully being deployed now I can just try from here or we can just serve whatever earlier URL and bang on you can see let me just make bigger one your flask app works version 1.0 so successfully we have deployed it now suppose you made some changes to your application and let's say uh, in our d drive binge stock app at this particular one let's say some changes version 2.0 you want to deploy it okay so i can create another version for this particular application compress Let's say same name we are going to give flask tutorial hyphen version 2.0. Okay, how I can redeploy it? So I can just use upload and deploy once again. So here also I'm just going to select my new file that is a new bundle flask tutorial version 2.0 and let's say the version label for this particular one we are going to give it like 2.0 and deploy it now every single time we upload this uh, particular complete package eventually they are just simply going to upload to somewhere in a s3 see uh, is it done you see environment is starting maybe it's restarting with a new deployed code so meanwhile we can go to s3 place and inside the s3 we will be able to see there is a one bucket automatically being created by this binge talk. See, we are just going to upload all the codes. Uh, see, version 1.0, version 2.0. And from here only, it's pointing to deploy in our current environment. So still, this Elastic binge talk is updating your environment. Meanwhile, we can uh, go to our version 1.0, same URL. If I just try to refresh, you can see version 2.0 so we have successfully updated our environment with a new code okay so we try to upload this code from our local file same way when you try to create the environment you can point out to s3 bucket url also and from there onwards also you can just fetch those code and always uh, go ahead okay now with this environment there are a lot other options are available so uh, what we are trying to do uh, for now, I'm just going to end this video. In the next one, we are simply going to explore all the option that with this environment, what other things one can do about it. And afterwards, maybe some other stuffs like uh, deploying some other kind of application like a Node.js or any other runtime environment, we will see. So 
that's all about this video i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like and comment on my video i'm not going to no, touch upon this environment i'll just going to leave it as it is for now because in the next video with the same environment i'm just going to start recording okay so meanwhile you can always subscribe to my channel for more such a informative video on aws and please 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 do subscribe to my channel because there are a lot of people who are not subscribing still viewing my video so if you just subscribe anyhow it's not going to be chargeable for you but it's just going to be a very very great help for me and that's all about this video i'll get back to you in the next one